Hey everybody, Brandon here. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, the images that you put on your Google business profile and the optimal settings for those images. So it's a short checklist, keep it simple. So first is the size of your images. The images that you add to your profile should not be more than five megabytes and they should be at least 720 by 720 pixels. If they are smaller than that, they're gonna be blurry and they're gonna not look good at all. Um, so make sure they're, they're at least 720 by 720 to get them crystal clear and high definition. Um, and then the file name. So when you before you upload your image to your profile, make sure you edit the file name of that image and think of it like an additional um, uh, inclusion inclusion of keywords for your business so there's an optimal format for this and i lift i listed that right here so you're going to do company name company name city your business name and then the category of your business for example, um, ABC Accountants, Boise, CPA Accounting Firm. Okay, so if you had um, something else like Dentist, City Blank, you know, you get the picture. Um, so after that, geotagging. So this is a more, um, not advanced, but something that people don't really realize that could help their listing. And that's geotagging their images. So the easiest way to do that is to take your pictures with your smartphone while you have your location services switched on. So Google or Apple um, knows the location you're at when you take the picture. A lot of people don't even know that those phones automatically do that. So wherever you're taking your pictures, excuse me, um, there is a code embedded in the image that shows the location it was taken at. So in order to optimize 100%, you want your images to be geotagged to the location of your business. Now, if you add pictures that aren't um, at your business's location, there is a manual way to do this. Um, I'm not going to go through that in this video because it is a a lot more steps and more complicated, but if you needed to do that, you can go to dbaplatform.com and there's a way to upload images there and then add your geotagging information and then re-downloading the image before you upload it to your Google profile. Okay, so the last thing on the checklist is what images to add to your business profile. So of course, you the most important is your cover photo whether this is um, the, the front of your business or you know the owner's, the owner's picture or whatever, but you need to make sure that um, you select your cover photo with intent of that being the first photo that everyone sees when they find your uh, business on Google. Okay, so other photos you wanna add, our company logo, maybe the street view, a, a picture outside of your place of business. Um, it's also really good to add internal pictures just to kind of give your customers the sense that, you know, you are a real business, whether it's, you know, in your office or pictures of your, your team members or your employees or your owner or, uh, and stuff like that. So this is a short checklist to help you, um, again, optimize the images that you are putting in your business profiles to um, give you the best results as far as um, Google, sending Google signals to rank you higher in the search results. Okay. So I hope that helped. And uh, if you need help, this is, um, this is what my company does for our, all of our clients. So if you need help optimizing your business profile, um, I'll leave links uh, down below if you're interested in working with us. All right, thank you.